hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30, and duration I'm going to choose let's say 10 second long. And background color is white color, and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Title Selection. Now over here I'm going to select my Rectangle Selection tool, and for the fill I'm going to choose something like grayish color. And over here we are going to create one rectangle like this okay so make sure that it should be like this then let's make this fit select this rectangle press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press v for selection tool and let's bring this somewhere around over here now after that let's select our ellipse and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse let's select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now let's hide this ellipse for now let's select this hit enter and let's call it as ball let's select the second layer hit enter and let's call it as base now go inside this base go to the rectangle uh, rectangle one go to the rectangle path one and if you see over here in path options we are getting this options but we don't need that so what we are going to do i'm going to click on this rectangle path one right click and convert this into bezier path then i'm going to select this then i'm going to select my pen tool over here and i'm going to create one point so after creating that we can adjust this point okay so we are going to animate this point first of all by holding shift i'll adjust this properly at the center okay so now let's select this ball enable it press v and let's move this ball over here then select this press p select this position right click and choose separate dimension then we will select y position keyframe let's go to around 20 frames we will create one keyframe go to the start and simply bring this upwards go to over here i mean around 20 frame and let's try to bring this like this then go to one second and we will create one keyframe and in middle of that i'm going to bring this a little bit upward so if i go to the start and if i hit play i'll get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor and select this graph first of all right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so what will happen it will look like it's coming slow and then it becoming fast the zoom in select this by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here move this over here select this and move this over here now if i see this thing we will get something like this then I'm going to go somewhere around 1.15 frames. Then I'm going to select this base. I'll create one keyframe at path. Then I'll go to around 2.15 frames and I'll select this path, let's say, or let's select go over here and we will create one keyframe. Then select this, this point over here. So let's lock this ball over here. At this point, with the help of this selection tool, I'm going to select this point like this. And by holding shift, I'll bring this downwards like this. Then go to around 3.15 frames. I'm going to move this over here. Then go somewhere around 4 seconds. Then I'm going to copy my first keyframe. Hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So if you see, we will get something like this. Or uh, you can move this a little bit over here also. Now select those uh, keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes. Okay. Then after that. Uh, let's go to the graph editor i'm going to select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and move this handle over here so i'll get something like this and then uh, from this uh, i'm going to select this one by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see i'll get something like this or like this but this looks weird so hit control set what i'm gonna do i'm going to select this handle by holding shift let's move this over here and move this over here so initially it will go faster then it will become a slow then select this by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here 
then we will get something like this so first this and then this and i think this keyframe is quite uh, full uh, you know um, at the back so let's bring this a little bit forward and let's see i'll get this and then this okay like this but uh, over here we don't want this type of curve so what we can do over here i'll go to the contents i'll go to the add and i'm going to choose round corners go to the round corners and increase their radius to 30 so as you guys can see we are getting curvy option over here so let's increase this curve roundness like this okay uh, it's okay if you're getting this two points over here it's not too much like this then after this point uh, i want this should go downward so i'll select this i'll press p for position create one keyframe hit u go around over here and i'll bring this downwards like this okay so if i see i'll get something like this but this looks weird because we need to adjust the graph for this position property also so select this and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here like this okay and if you want then you can select those keyframes and you can move them a little bit forward also so it will animate a little bit later like this so this is for this and now we need to do some animation for this ball so let's unlock this and we will lock this base now i'm going to select this i'll create one keyframe at y position then i'll go around over here and i'll bring this at this point i'll bring this over here then at this point let's say somewhere around over here let's say uh, i'm gonna move this thing over here so change the y position over here like this okay so now first this and then we need animation let's say from this position so let's adjust this at this point i'll select this keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v now we need to adjust the graph so i'll select this keyframes first i'll go to the graph editor first of all select all of them and don't forget to hit f9 zoom in select this point by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this okay so we will get something like this then now i'm going to select this by holding shift i'll select this handle these two handles by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this so let's see first this and then this and if you want then you can move this a little bit forward also so get this kind of results so if i see this animation from the start i'll get this then this okay so you can do this now after that uh, we will add our text so i'm going to select my text and i'm going to type design then select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and adjust the scale now for this one uh, i don't want this dot over here so what we can do i'm going to select this i'll go to the rectangle options and i'm going to click on this one and i'll uh, i mean creating mask and i'll invert this okay then uh, we will adjust this uh, ball over here so for that uh, at this point let's say somewhere around over here i'll select this i'll press s create one keyframe and hit u then go somewhere around over here let's select this and let's decrease the scale like this and let's move this uh, downwards uh, so let's move this downwards and now we need to create uh, x position keyframe also so press p for position uh, at this point i'm going to create one keyframe at x then at this point let's say i'm going to move this po position over here like this let's uh, and also say press s and try to adjust the scale and press p and try to adjust the y position like this okay so now if i see i'll get something like this but oh if you go to the graph editor we need to adjust this graph also so uh, what we can do over here i'm going to select this last three keyframes on y position and i'm going to hit f9 then i'll go to the graph editor and over here i'm going to select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we'll get this and then i'm going to select this 
by holding shift I'll move this handle over here and this handle like this so I'll get this kind of pop-up so if you see this animation from the start I'll get this and then this then let's select this uh, go to fit and go few frame forwards create one keyframe at y and in middle of that i'm going to bring this upward so uh, we will get that pop up let's select this by holding alt i'm going to move this keyframes over here so i'll get this kind of pop up then from this point i want this thing should start animate so i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl d i'll select the second layer i'll go to the character option and i'm going to delete this fill and i'll choose stroke uh, let's see the stroke yeah and now i'm going to select both of them and i'll move them over here then i'm going to select the stroke layer first i'll go to the animate option and i'm going to choose let's say opacity and initial opacity should be zero let's hide this one and go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start go to around 5.10 frame and let's make this 100 select those keyframes hit f9 and if you see we'll get something like this and let's move this up to five frames select those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here like this then i'm going to select this animator i'll hit ctrl c i'll select this first layer and i'll hit ctrl v and i'm going to move this a layer a little bit over here okay so this is how you will get this animation and now we need to do some coloring to for this animation so select this base and instead of pure like this color i'm going to choose somewhere around this and for this ball i'm going to go let's go with the bluish color like this and select this right click go to the let's say layer styles and i'm going to choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss and let's increase the size and increase the softness and or shadow opacity let's also decrease that so you will get something like this okay now select this ball go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply increase the distance to 20 uh, sorry increase the distance to 20 softness to 100 opacity to let's say 20 and for the color let's choose somewhere around this bluish format color like this then i'm going to select this drop shadow i'll hit ctrl c i'll select this base and i'll hit ctrl v okay so if i hit play now i'll get this okay uh, so after that uh, let's select this ball and we will bring this downwards because it should be at the backward of this ball so then we will get this animation then uh, this is for this uh, and if you want then you can change the color of this text also uh, and then uh, first we will get this then uh, after doing that we will create some background elements this portion is optional you but you if you want then you can do that also so hit ctrl and to put and name it as bg and hit ok and then i'm going to select this ellipse by holding shift i'll create one ellipse select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the add menu and choose repeater go to the repeater and let's make this copies 10 go to the transform repeater one and decrease it like this then select this repeater and hit ctrl d and go to the transform repeater two let's make this position zero and increase the position over here and let's try to bring this thing over here hit control sorry uh, select this hit control d and let's try to bring this portion over here okay so this is how you'll get that then go inside this go to the contents go to the ellipse go to the ellipse path and if you want then you can decrease the size of this like this okay and now go to the main animation hit control zero and bring our bg at the backwards like this then go inside this you can select both the layers press p create one keyframe go to the last keyframe i'm going to select this one i'll move this over here select this one uh, and try to adjust the position and if you want then you can bring this pg at the top also so first i'll get this then i'll get this and then press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and let's bring this at the backwards 
and then select this design uh, text over here hit ctrl d select this fourth layer press s and increase the scale and this time press m and let's delete this mask go to the character menu and for the stroke i'm going to choose 0.1 go to the start and let's bring this design text over here and let's bring this totally at the backward press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity now go to the start press p let's move this thing over here create one keyframe then let's go somewhere around at the last and we will bring this thing from here to here so we will get some animation for that stroke text like this okay so this is this and let's move this layer over here right click new and create one null object so now i'm going to select all of these things and i'll make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s initially let's make this one zero five create one keyframe then go to somewhere around over the last keyframe and let's make this 90 okay so now if you see this stuff along with this animation we will get that scaling animation also so yep this is how you can create this kind of elegant text animation inside of after effects with the use of shape layers only so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned